since the fourth day in Hull, the only place in the UK where the telephone boxes are coloured cream. And hoping to paint the town red tonight is competitive florist Jane. Nobody will have anything to say about my food because it'll all be perfect. Everything will be cut to perfection. Welcome to the club. The week kicked off with Dan giving his guests a Greek party night. Lots of energy, lots of uh, laughs, dancing, good time. For businessman Tony, it was the host himself who impressed. I'll fight you for <laughs> Dan's a great guy. Uh, too young for me. <laughs> and too taken as well. On Tuesday night, computer geek Matt attempted to educate his guests with some Japanese cuisine. Really tasty. Yeah. I was worried that they weren't going to be crispy. Very good. But they are. Matt's starter was the best of the week so far, and I feel like it'll probably be the best of the week. Pity you can't say the same about his dessert. There's no words for Matt's dessert. You, you can't even call it a dessert, to be honest. It was a disaster. My night was a unique experience. There was a lot of smiles around the table, even if that might have been for the wrong reasons at times, but we'll wait and see. Looks like the smiles were for the wrong reasons. With a score of 24, you're out of the running. Walk in the dog. Wednesday night saw dog walking entrepreneur Jordana host. Like, do you walk down the street? <laughs> <He's a cat. laughs> and her Mexican food went down a storm. I like it. <laughs> I do like it. I was really impressed with Jordana last night. She made everything from scratch, so good on her. But one guest got more than they bargained for. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got a dog hair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. When I found that dog hair in the starter, it did it did put me off, I must admit. I did stop eating it. I could be in the running, considering Matt's disaster the night before kind of topped my dog hair issue. You're not wrong. You scored 28, which currently leaves you joint top with Dan. So my night tonight, I'm going to take all my guests to Spain, they're going to be flamenco dancing, they're going to have some gorgeous tapas, the best seafood in Hull. Aiming high. <laughs> she kicks off with a selection of tapas. Spicy meatballs, creamy mushrooms and deep-fried halloumi. That, to be honest, is finger food right up my street. I'm really looking forward to that. I like spicy food, so if she does them well, I hope, they're, I hope everything's homemade. <laughs> It is, but with the odd shortcut. The next thing I'm going to do is chop an onion. No, because my mascara's too expensive. Good thinking. Onions are poured on top of minced beef and chicken. She adds a squirt of garlic paste, an egg, and soaks bread in milk. I don't actually know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Neither do I. Still, just slap it in the bowl. She adds smoked paprika and mixes. It sounds like walking in... Manuring wellies. Do you do that often, Jane? She forms the mixture into balls, rolls them in breadcrumbs, and pops them in the fridge to cook later. On to the halloumi. Deep fried halloumi is. It, I can't remember what it is. Is it, is it? Is it a little fish? No, it isn't. So this is halloumi, which is a hard cheese, very salty. I really hope she's caught the halloumi herself. Oh, she did in a shopping basket. She'll deep fry it later. Lastly, the mushrooms. I'm going to assume they're garlic mushrooms. I love creamy garlic mushrooms, so that's fantastic. With creamy mushrooms, it's just cream and mushrooms, so not massively tricky. Um, still tasty, though. A generous pouring of cream, a grating of parmesan. It smells absolutely amazing. It's the fourth night in Hull. It's a great night! Oh! Where flower-loving Jane is hoping a night of Spanish delicacies will win her the £1,000 prize. I'm so looking forward to a great night. Everyone's dressed Spanish, Spanish food, Spanish atmosphere. Yay! Yay! <laughs> While she gets started on her tapas, Dan and Tony head upstairs. Finally got me in a bedroom, Tony. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not being accustomed to going to ladies' bedrooms, but going with Dan was a whole different approach. Oh! She's been on blind day. Day. Still a black. It kind of makes sense the way the way she is. Like I could see her applying for blind date. Hello, number two. Tell us your name and where do you come from? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Tell us here. <laughs> Uncanny. She didn't win though. No. That's no. a shame, isn't it? <laughs> she always seems to lose. <laughs> That'll do, Tony. In the kitchen, Jane fries halloumi, stirs mushrooms, and dishes up her meatballs. This looks absolutely amazing. Even if you do say so yourself. Here it is, individual platters of tapas. Be 
big finish, Jose. Nice. I'm happy we've got our own kind of like little board because yeah. I didn't want to be like, yes, I love yes. that, but it's a bit a dinner party doing. Well, that's interesting, isn't it, considering we did it yesterday? No, because it was a big board, do you know what I mean? If it was loads of little dishes and... <laughs> Keep digging, Matt. I kind of did a sharing platter and he was very happy about it in the evening, but obviously tonight he very much changed his tune. It was nice to have the dishes in front of me so you kind of don't have to reach over each other. For some reason, Jordana seems to take a bit of offence to that. Don't know why. I can't think. Can I ask you a question? What is halloumi? Halloumi is a solid cheese. I don't know what halloumi is. I thought you were a fish. I don't, what sort of person doesn't know that halloumi is cheese? Oh, God. I've got this competition in the back. I like this creamy mushroom sauce. Oh, good, thank you. That sauce with those mushrooms were absolutely just gorgeous. And I thought, this is too good to be true. Um, I love mushrooms. I could eat this all day, like the creamy mushroom. Mm. So, super tasty. I think the meatballs were a bit dry, um, but the sauce did make up for it. But the actual, like, kind of meatballs themselves were a bit dry. You've done well, Jane. Sorry, what did you say? Mm. Oh, I calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I complimented her food and then she asked me to say again what I'd said, but I knew she heard what I said. I didn't need to broadcast it to everybody again. Did you make this bread? Sorry, does anyone want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that she just bypassed the whole point, but I, I, I pressed it again. <laughs> I just said, did you make this bread? <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? Let's not talk about bread. Bread is so boring. Who cares? <laughs> Move on. We've been upstairs in your bedroom. Oh, mm. really? We've, we've, we've we found, found something very interesting. Mm. Oh, what was it? Let's give you a clue. Come in, number two. Tell us your name and where do you come from? Price is right. What? No. <laughs> not Price is right. Two of us, maybe three of us, were getting excited about the fact that she'd been on Blind Date, but then I looked across the table and two of them haven't even actually heard of it, let alone still a black. Fair play to Jane, but I don't really get what it was. <laughs> to be honest, I was probably about five when that came out. Yeah, so I was on Blind Date and, yeah, I know you're laughing, and I didn't get picked. I was number three, Aww. but I had a great time. And uh, one of my questions that was asked to me mm. was what my favourite... Well, my best chat up line yeah. was. And obviously, when you're from Hull, the best chat up line is, um, grab your coat, love, you've pulled. I've, I have heard that line thrown about a bit, you know. Um, I don't usually wear a coat out. Give Matt your best chat up line, um, what would it be? Do you like dragons? They're all right. I've been dragging <laughs> you home tonight. I like it. <laughs> I use that on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> on to the maze.